Good morning. 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 Coffee's ready. You look like you could use some. You ain't kidding. How'd you sleep? Uh, not very well. Oh, no, it's too bad. Hey, thanks for the spare room. Yeah. Uh, will bacon and eggs do you? Of course, I could feed this to the squirrels and make you some oatmeal and yogurt and uh, wheat germ and yucky things. No, this smells great. Flattery will get you everywhere. Yesterday, you said they could trace a call at the phone booth, and they did. Why couldn't they also trace a call here? Well, I've got my lines routed through enough subsystems and cells so that even if they trace the call, they think it's from somewhere else. Anywhere in particular? The Reagan estate in Bel Air. You know, you're nothing like I expected you to be from your books. Well, just because someone deals with UFOs doesn't mean they're a total wacko, necessarily. I mean, you're a perfect example. I'm learning. Mm, smells good. Good morning. Hi, babe. Good morning. Where's Andy? He's sleeping finally. Yeah, you're a bad night. Yeah. He keeps having these nightmares. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's understandable. Nightmares are kind of common with this. You want to eat outside? Sure. Anyone with more than a passing knowledge of UFOs has heard of the men in black. They're called MIB for short. So you mean other people have seen them? Hundreds, thousands. The first report of them goes back to 1949. Well, who the hell are they then? Well, that's the million dollar question. Nobody knows. There have been various theories over the years connecting them with everything from the FBI to Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah, some say that they're Air Force, some say they're CIA, some say they're from some super-secret organization of the government that no one's ever heard of, or they're aliens trying to cover up for themselves. Or some say that they're neither human or alien, but they're some kind of crossbreed between the two, and they're trying to assimilate themselves into human society. Well, what do you think they are? I need more evidence before I make up my mind. You really believe this, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. This is insane. I mean, there has to be some rational explanation for all of this. Well, you tried the cops, you tried the Air Force. They didn't help much, did they? Yeah, but that was before. Before what? Before you killed your dog and wrecked your house? Before your psychotic episode with the LAPD? That's not how it happened. You tell it to the jury, Bob. Who have you got for a witness? You've got your wife. And who's to say that either one of you ever make it to the stand anyway? From what you tell me, these people are out to kill you. Well, do you believe us or not? There have been 20,000 sightings over the last 50 years. Of the 200 cases that, that I personally investigated, I'd have to say I believe yours the most. Because of the tape? Well, yes, and also a special set of circumstances. For me, it goes back 20 years when I was in military intelligence. I ran into a woman who had a situation very similar to yours. She had a UFO experience and she managed to get some pictures, still pictures. She tried to go to the authorities and immediately she was stalked by the MIB. They wanted to shut her up and they wanted to get those pictures. Now she felt the same way that you folks do. She wished that it had never happened. She wished that it would all just go away. How did it work out for her? Well, it didn't go away. I tried to, to help her get away from them, but they got to her. Well, if all they want is the tape, why don't we just give it to them? Well, unfortunately, I think it's too late. This thing has gone too far for them. They want to silence you, period. What can we do? You can't go back to your house. You can't go back to your former life. And for the time being, you can't contact any of your friends or relatives. And forget your credit cards. They'll trace you in a heartbeat. If you go to withdraw money from your bank, they'll be there in five minutes or less. How the hell are we supposed to live? Well, I'm gonna help you. I have a group of teenage computer hackers that can run rings around the electronic part and they can give you new identities. Then I'm gonna front you some money to get you started. This is not about money. This is our entire lives we're talking about. I mean, what about Andy? Is he supposed to spend the rest of his life being chased by boogeymen? Des, come on. He's trying to help us. I want an answer. I'll give you an answer. If you go back there, they're going to kill you all. And you'll be lucky if they ever find the bodies. Okay, if they are that dangerous and you are that paranoid, why would you let us come to your house? I mean, we could be anybody. No, you couldn't. I checked you out. You're exactly what you say you are. 
Leave her alone, please. Sure, no problem. Des? I cannot believe this is happening. But it is, and we have to deal with it. I believe this guy. You do. Don't you, honey? I suppose. Let's lay low out here for a couple of days. Let him look into it. All right? All right. Baby, it's gonna be fine. <sighs> Shh, calm down. Shh. Okay. Yeah. But, well, what's the problem exactly? Uh huh. Okay, give me your name and number, will you? All right. Now listen, I will get back to you on this, but it's gonna take me a couple of days. All right. But I don't think you have any problem. Okay. Well, Bob, I'll tell you what. If nothing else, you can sell this stuff to the networks and make a fortune. I think I'll <laughs> pass. Bob? Bob? Yeah? Andy's not well at all. He needs to go to the doctor. Okay. Uh, well, no, 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 no. No, it wouldn't be a good idea to leave here. Not at all. They're watching for you. Yeah, but he's sick. I mean, he's got a fever and he's shivering. Stan, we have to do something. No, no, wait a second. You're all stressed out. You were up half the night. Give the boy a day or so to, to calm down and rest and he'll be okay. I'm really worried about him. Honey, let's give it a little more time. If he gets any worse at all, we will get some help, okay? Fine. Tape checks out, 100%. No flaws, no signs of tampering. It's genuine. I knew it was. Gee, thanks. And? And, officially, anyway, you're clean. What does that mean, officially? Well, it means I checked out the local, state, and federal agencies, and you're not on any books. There's no one with a badge looking for you. What about the truck crash? It's listed just as a simple hit and run under investigation. There's no mention of a minivan. And the LAPD put down your visit just as a freak out due to domestic stress. Uh -huh. No one's been out to your house, so they haven't discovered the mess there. And the Air Force didn't even bother to log your calls. Of course, they get 100 crank calls a day anyway. Great. There may not be an APB out on you, but don't forget those bozos in the black hats are out to erase you. Yeah. Cigar? No, thanks. So what now? I've got a hacker who's trying to decrypt some data banks at the Pentagon and sack NORAD. Maybe we can sniff out some information on Wilson Robert A. Mm-hmm. What's that mean in English? It means I've got a friend who's digging deeper. What's that? That's your wife. She's leaving the compound. Not sure that you're going It's just fine there. 
Well, it's a little high, but nothing serious.